Hi, this is Melanie from Hook to the Left, and today we're going to take a look at this crochet project book. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. If you guys are a fan of all things crochet, review, projects, yarn, all that good stuff, then go ahead and go down below and hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're reminded each time I come out with a brand new video. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this particular book. Um, if you did not join us, last week's Yarn Hookers episode had to do with one skein, projects that only take one skein or less. And I did show a little bit of this book, but I wanted to go a little bit more in depth into uh, how this book works and see, so you can see if it's something that you'd be interested in. Alright, so let's go ahead and just open it up. I do have a few projects marked and, I, and in, that, um, in that episode I did go over those projects so I may uh, show you a few different ones this time. Okay, so it starts out with, here, it starts out with the table of contents which is very normal but one thing I did really, really like about this particular book is it start, it is everything, all the projects are separated by weight. So it starts with thread and it's color coded. So if you see this color, you know that that is a thread weight project, one skein project. Okay, and they have, they have all different kinds. So, so you have this color for the thread weight and then you get into this lighter green color here and this is lace weight. Okay, so it has a few projects in the lace weight especially some scarves they're super pretty all right and then if you want to go uh, after the green there wasn't too many in the lace weight too many lace weight projects most of them are cows and scarves but now here's the super fine weight okay so um again there's uh, quite a few in the super fine weight and it's color coded with this kind of mauve color but see there's quite a few projects in that super fine weight which is really nice uh, there is this one project in the super fine weight. Yeah, here it is. Look at this. Isn't that cute? The French toast with maple syrup, maple sugar jacket. Oh my gosh, so cute. I think that's toddler size. I'm pretty sure that's toddler size, especially if it's a one, only one skein. Um, but that is crazy, crazy cute. Really, really like how cute that is. Um, but that's the last project in the super fine weight. And then we get into the fine weight. So, and this is where I started to mark a few things. Um, like this spring garden dress, which is super duper cute. And then these baby booties. So cute. Which those are actually pictured on the top. So, there's not too much in the fine weight. Uh, the fine weight, see here, it's only a few pages of the fine weight there, projects. Um, and I do like that this book also does like diagrams along with um, the written instructions. So, because some people do better with the diagrams, some people do better with the written instructions. Um, but I do, I do really like that. So next up is your light weight. So this is when you start get, starting to get into the DK or the, the three weight. And there is a few of these. Okay, so a few projects from this. Some cute uh, water bottle holders and pins. And then, um, a stuff, what, what is this? A hair scrunchie. So some hair scrunchies with fine weight. And a little beanie. Isn't that cute? With a little tassel on top for a little one. Um, and then, of course, there's some socks here with fine weight yarn, which is kind of nice. I like that. And a slouchy beanie. And a headband, a pretty headband, and a nice bolero or shrug. So, that's some lightweight stuff. Now, here's the medium weight. And this is the most popular weight that people use. This is the four weight yarn. And as you can see, that is a pretty big section right there all right so a couple things I marked off I really like this scarf here which I'll take this off I really did like this scarf and then I also really liked their little Amigurumi 
um, sections here. So they had some super duper cute, like this little bunny here is adorable. And then if you get a variegated yarn, then you might be able to do, make this really super, oh, there's the gator. Isn't that cute? And then you have, um, look at that little puppy dog. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. But, and, and so they have quite a few of these little onigurumi ones in there. Look at the kitty cat, that sweet kitty. And then they have uh, a few other projects like a hat. Uh, and a little beanie for baby, and uh, a child's beanie that was similar to that baby one that we saw earlier, except for it's it's a different stitch work. A nice little purse, and a little market bag, and here's a felted purse. Isn't that pretty? And I love this bolero here. It's super duper pretty. And then a headband. So you got a lot of projects in here. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? The work on that with that kind of woven look. Really, really like that. So they got a bunch of projects in here for worsted weight. Now, one thing that I did realize as I was looking at this, that one skein is kind of subjective. So when I think of one skein of yarn, I think of, um, you know, like um, about... I think of two different kinds. So I think of either this size, which is your basic yarn, um, the basic weight. So this is, ooh, got some you know, hair on that. Um, but this is about 380 yards or six ounces um, or 347 meters or 170 grams. But this is, this is one scheme that I think of either that or um, even to go a little bit less, this is another size that I think of, something like this. Um, which this one is 380 yards or three and a half ounces or 308 yards rather or three and a half ounces and this is the um, lightweight or 282 meters or 100 grams so that's what I think of um, however one of their projects in here which I just I, I found a really amusing is this right here the lullaby dreams baby blanket right and, and as you know you can't get a baby blanket with only 300 yards 350 yards you're not going to get a baby blanket in in that so their one their one skein is actually the lion brand pound of love so it's one of the big skeins of yarn and it includes 1020 yards in it and yes once you have a, a thousand yards you can make a good size baby blanket but that, like I said, one skein is subjective. Okay, so just keep that in mind whenever you're looking at these projects. All right, so next up is the bulky weight. And as you get into the um, bulky weight, this is a smaller amount. It doesn't go in much further than bulky weight, which is the five. Um, and the reason being is most bulky weight, uh, as, the, as the yarn gets bigger, the yardage gets smaller, so it's harder to complete one project, or a complete a project with only one skein as it gets bulkier and bulkier. But they do have some super cute, like this right here, that little cape, or the cowl, which I love the cowl, um, or these mittens. Or these fingerless gloves, which is super cute, and I even love that colorway in that um, yarn. Lion Brand Tweed Stripes. Those are pretty. Okay, so, and that's just a few. Another felted purse, which is crazy pretty. Uh, and then these uh, ear flaps. Men's Snow Sports Headband. That's what they called it. Um, and then another purse. And uh, it looks like a teapot cozy. And a little... Um, a little just uh, the container for something you know to store something they have buttons in it here so um, but that is it uh, it's just packed full of a bunch of great useful projects in here and again I really like how you can quickly once you have your weighted yarn you can quickly go to you see you can see the different colors and you can quickly go to which weight and then look for the project that you want which that is super duper cool. I really, really like that. And of course there is an appendix and in, in here you can look up the name of the project or the yarn weights. And here's a guide to yarn weights. 
um, they go over some specific techniques and some um, how to do uh, Pico 2, Pico 3, Pico 4. So they go into some deeper definitions and some diagrams on the different stitches that they use. Um, a glossary is what they call it. So, and then they, they give you a little bit more about the artists and the, who came up with the um, projects, which I do like that they focus on that for the designers. Um, and of course your appendix and index, index. And at the end, they tell you a little bit more of a book about crochet books that Story has come out with, which Story is the publisher. So um, again, I I think this is a really good book. It's it's uh, if I'm if I'm correct, I, I didn't look right before, but I think when I bought this, I bought it for only about it's only about fifteen dollars on Amazon. I do have that linked down below, so you are welcome to go check that out. So what did you think of this book? Are you excited to try out a one skein wonder pro crochet project? Um, I, uh, I'm thinking about doing this if I get the right weight yarn and there's a few other projects in here that I would love to do. I'm most excited I think about the amigurumi in here and trying out maybe that little bunny or the kitty cat or the puppy dog. They're all super duper cute. Um, but I thought that they, I, 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 there's a lot of projects in here. Oh, you know what? I am going to do this one. I am making this one for my sister in the Ferris wheel yarn, which I'll link that review up above, but I'm going to, I am going to make that, uh, use that Ferris wheel yarn to make this particular hat for my sister to match a scarf that I'm working, a chevron scarf that I'm working on for her. And, um, yeah, so tell me what you think. If you have this book and, and you're already using it, let me know what you think of it. Let me know about your favorite project. And was it truly a one skein wonder or uh, did it not quite work out the way you anticipated? Let me know. If you like this kind of content, then make sure that you go, you go and you hit down below and you hit that subscribe button and you hit the bell so that you're reminded each time I come out with a new video. And while you're down there, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that smash that like button and uh, let me know that you enjoy this kind of content and I'll keep up, keep on coming out with more. Until my next video, I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. You guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.